Good morning, team. Back on trail after an okay night's sleep. Oh, I'm having sleeping problems again, but that's okay. I'm able to grab a couple hours here and there late into the night, and I'm grateful for that. But I'm already climbing. Today's gonna be a challenging day, but I'm ready. Are you with me? I know you are. So yeah, not sure how long we're gonna go. We just never know anymore. Um, we fell short 4.4 um, of our initial destination yesterday, but that's okay. Because the it, AT is teaching me more so than ever to be flexible and adaptive because you just never know what you're going to encounter. And we encountered some rough stuff yesterday. Oh my goodness. Here I am trying to climb and videotape at the same time. And listen, this looks flat. It's not. Oh. But I expect another wonderful day. The weather is beautiful. I'm hoping to get some great views again so I can show you all what Maine has to offer. Um, smells like Christmas trees again. Love that smell. Um, and I'm ready. So let's tackle this day together and um, make it happen because we are also close, but still far away. And I wanna add that on yesterday's video, I mentioned that the mileage to Katahdin was incorrect. I was wrong. That is the correct mileage. So I apologize for that. Um, okay, let's get to it. Waking up to this, despite the difficulties, so worth it. You can see the clouds right there in the valley. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And over there in the distance. Video doesn't do it any justice. Sometimes I wish I can transport you here with me. where we're heading we have a huge downhill and then we're going right up there I wonder if we're gonna reach walk that not quite sure I have to check um, my far out um, map but yep when in doubt pick the highest peak and that's where the AT takes you no joke I am NOT exaggerating when I say this that's how it goes but let's get down there and continue on. Oh my God. So it begins this early in the morning. There's carved steps, which was very helpful coming down. Ooh, hopefully we'll get a little break from the climbing and descending. My knees I already are already screaming.
this one's challenging. Let's figure this out. There's no way around it. How to get my shoes wet. Ew. I know I have to climb this with slippery shoes. Alrighty. The water's so chilly on my toes. I usually can get away with um, my tennis shoes getting wet, but this time, like, the water seeped into my socks, so my feet are wet. But it's okay. They have all day to dry. You know, the only thing that sucks about my shoes getting wet, I just put brand clean socks this morning. Hmm. It was good while it lasted, though. I am finally halfway through the mountain I showed you this morning. I came from that mountain. That's okay. And I have done it way too many times. But All right, team. The trail does feel slightly drier. Oh it does. This is what we're doing this morning. Look at that. We're climbing straight up. You know, I'm serious when I say I'm going to take on rock climbing. Because at least when you rock climb, you're actually attached to a harness and a safety rope. No safety here. All right. Let's get it. It keeps on going. Up there is crazy. I'm so short. Just Hold show it. it. You got it. Sorry. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Are it. I don't sure? want you to. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. I don't want you hurting yourself. All right. Time to go make it or move. Oh my God. Away. You're fine. You can leave them if you need them. I'll, I'll get them on my way by. All right. Got it. 
Speed limit. Alright, All right, doing a quick side trail to the Goose Eye Summit, which is that big mountain that I showed you on the other side um, when I started hiking this morning. Might as well. I mean, it's only um, 0.1 miles, not that far away. So let's make it to the summit and be like, yep, I made it to the tippy top. Almost there. I can feel it. Uh, all right. I know the tweets are involved. Number two pencil is blogging as well. And our subscribers are the tweets. It's the combination of my team and his peeps. Windy, chill. I should have put my place to come up here. All righty. That mountain right ahead of me that's where we're heading and I believe that trekking along is going up right now and they're almost to the summit there's already people in the summit it's kind of hard when I zoom in but pretty certain they just made it there they go so we'll be there soon I apologize for the wind but And you can actually see the trail going down that bog. Just all that right there is wet. And you can see people down there already. I'm in love with Maine. I thought Vermont was beautiful. Maine's still in my heart. And my soul too. <laughs> See what the rest of the day brings. This is pretty amazing. So team, we have a new mode of hiking. We have stairs. And you might think that this is very helpful, but no, they are very slick and slippery. 
number two and I almost fell both a couple times from slipping on these. So I just wanted to show you. Every day, a new danger. All right, team. Now that I'm, uh, I don't know, more of like a safe area. Um, about 10 minutes ago, I was coming down a um, rock face, rock slab, and I got stuck. I mean, I could not move. And um, number two pencil had helped me get down. He took my backpack and kind of spotted me. Um, so I can get down, but that was, I think for the first time on trail, um, I felt a little panicked. Mostly because if I was by myself, um, I don't know what I would have done. Um, I'm very grateful that he's my hiking partner right now. But, um, yeah, it's like I've never experienced this before. I don't think this whole trip I experienced something to the fact that I'm like stuck, you know, like really stuck. That was a little scary. Um, yeah, I felt a spank a panic for a little bit, but it's all well now. I just have to um, pay a little bit more attention um, so it doesn't happen again. But if it does, I have my buddy to help me out. Thank you, number two pencil. And the fun continues. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm never gonna get down this mountain. Sorry, I was just telling number two pencil that right now. I just feel a little scared after that little panic, you know, situation that I had. But I just need to take it easy. It shook me up a little. All right, let's do this. I was just told by family, um, hiking southbound, they're just doing a section hike um, for the weekend, that there's a feel of mud ahead of me. So, let's see how that goes. I might have to bite the bullet and just start going through the mud and stumping through the mud. I should have known better than to put clean socks on. It's the curse of the clean socks. Whenever you put clean socks on, they're bound to get wet. It never fails. I swear. But let's see what happens here. It's beautiful though. As you can see, we came from up there and I almost got stuck in the face rock that you see right there on the side. a way around it or not but we were going to try to make it through team oh my god this is so yucky so yucky okay let's see what we can do here let's get to problem solving this situation <laughs> well navigated that mess down there with some mud but not as bad as I did earlier so I call that a success oh my goodness I've been saying today you know we were told about Vermont mud which we missed by the way I was never informed about Maine mud I don't know about this it's like a new challenge every day well you know what i think it's fun you know trying to make it through all this and i am rewarded with this beauty it's a challenge wouldn't have any other way Wow, you managed to stay dry. That's impressive. I'm good enough. You know why I stay dry? Why? I'm good enough. <laughs> I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, people tolerate me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. 
Some people. Some people. Okay, gotcha. Nightingale and Trekking Along. They do a good job of tolerating. <laughs> Dude, my feet are soaking wet. I give it to you. That's impressive. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fun never ends. Alrighty, so let me I put this away. There we have number two pencil behind me, talking, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I have to let him know I said that. No, I just want to show you how beautiful this is. We just went from like terrible mud, boggy area to just beautiful ridge, meadow, alpine, less boggy area. Whew. Oh, I'm hungry. This is, this takes a lot of energy, um, doing this, you know, same doesn't matter how much I eat, I'm always hungry, but I think I finally plateaued on my weight loss, which is good, I don't know, I don't want to buy me no more new pants. <laughs> And our lunch spot is going to be right up there at the summit. All right, team. Just got done having lunch, drying up our tents. Um, took my shoes off, air out my feet. Socks are still wet. Shoes are still wet, but they're not soaking wet anymore. So that's a good thing. Um, working on descending um, down so we can go ahead and try to hike up Mahusik Notch which is the hardest mile in the AT. Um, that's the goal. There's also a camp um, right at the base of Mahusik Notch that if we don't make it in time, if we don't think um, we'll have enough daylight to um, do it, um, we'll stay there and do it in the morning. So, but we're hopeful that we'll make it there in time and we're able to tackle it sometime this afternoon, so. Let's hope that happens. All right, team. I'm um, going down pretty steep area. I'm going to put the phone away and um, get to hiking. But before I do that, let me show you the views. That's the trail. I had to come down that. And I came down like babies do when they're learning how to go downstairs. I wasn't even going to try to go forward. It worked out. I didn't feel like I was going to die. So team, we came from up there today. It took us that whole time to get to the other side, down to this mountain. And we stopped by the shelter at the um, base of the mountain. And um, got some water because we were both dehydrated. We needed water. And um, now we're climbing up. And we're going to start descending into Mahuset Notch. Um, I had to put a couple things away that I hang from the outside. Because apparently things fall. And you cannot retreat them. Because it's just huge boulders that we're going to be navigating here in about an hour or so. So, wish us luck. Um, hopefully we won't die. I know. We joke around, but it's our way of, you know, keeping our spirits up. But it's beautiful up here. I'll try to take as much video as I can um, while navigating these boulders and see what happens. But yeah, I'm excited. I mean, everybody talks about this part of the AT that says the hardest mile. You can either make it fun um, and enjoy it or just be miserable about it and I'm choosing I'm choosing to make it a fun experience and this is the summit it's a cover summit so my bad that was not the summit this is the summit way better and once again we came from up there today We have 
haven't even started and we already are dealing with bars down. And I'm doing it the way number two did it. I call it like the baby, baby style, you know? When you learn to go downstairs, when babies do. No shame. Yeah, no shame. No shame, no shame at all whatsoever, but this is what it's looking like already. Oh, um, oh, oh. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I just didn't know that was doing it. Oh, okay. It's a good hiking partner. I'm probably letting you do it. I, hey, really? Be careful, be careful that one piece is doing it. I thought you would see it. It's going to feel differently on your foot. Oh, my goodness. See, folks, what I have to put up with every day? Yeah, I'm telling you, I can with number two sometimes. Yeah. I'm surprised we have not killed each other right now. That's fair. fair yeah, but um, this is what we're dealing with right now. And to be fair, it's still early in the day. All right, team. So we are about to start on Mahusik Notch um, here shortly. Um, about to put my trekking poles away. Uh, make sure that everything is tied and strapped. I already hear echo of people down there trying to transfer um, all the rocks. Um, not sure how much video I'll be able to take. But um, I will try to show you um, whenever I can. I'm going to eat a little something, drink some water, use the bathroom, um, and be ready to do this because um, it's going to take us a while. Um, number two, number two pencil is up there fixing his pack. I guess one of the frame tubes came out and he's trying to fix it. He's all the way up there and I'm down here kind of waiting on him. All right, team, let's do this. Wish us luck. All right, team, officially here. Me and number two pencil are going to time how long it's going to take us to go through. It is right now 1613, which is 413 civilian time. And we're going to start this adventure. Let's see how long it takes us to get here. So far, so good. I already put my trekking poles away. Uh, I feel naked without them, to be honest. I depend so much on them. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to fall. I've been, like, holding on to, like, little branches and rocks and everything. So, but, yeah. I know, we just hit a cold pocket of air. Yeah, I got cold. But, here we go. Here we go. This is the beginning. And it actually does look really fun. Oh, I can't wait to get scrambling here. I like doing stuff like this. All right, let's do it. Came from back there. Not too bad so far, but I tell you what, this right here is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I am in this gigantic ravine full of rocks. And so far, so good, but I'm going to put my phone away now because <laughs> I think we need to climb that up there. You got it. Good job. All right, this is like the next leg and there's a couple hikers ahead of me so you can see the difficulty of what we're encountering. All right, here comes number two pencil. He put the cap, the pack on top, and now he's sliding down into this little nook. I think you'll make it. You do the same from over there. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely not what she said. Oh god. You got it, you got it. There you go. Good job. Uh, like that blazing trail, they said. It will be it fun, will be they fun, say. They said. And now he's grabbing his pack. And we move on. And this is what's next.
So this scramble right here reminds me of my son, Phoenix. Um, he is in the Navy and he's stationed in um, Washington State. And when he was younger, he used to love jumping over like boulders and rocks. So Phoenix, this is for you. So team, we're at halftime right now. We actually got a little bit of dirt mixed with rocks here. And let's see what the next section brings. Number two pencil says that we are 30% done. So let's see what the rest of this looks like. But yeah, we got a nice little stretch here to regroup and start all over again. And I, I see boulders in the distance. I came around over and I had to slide down that rock right there into this. You can see the place. How did you do this? Hold on, I need to help number two pencil. Here's another going under. And as you can see, there's like arrows that tell you where to go. But yeah, this is not getting any easier. It's fun though, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually having lots of fun. Even though um, it's a struggle. Number two pencil, how do you feel about this? It's not fun. Number two pencil does not think it's fun. Fair enough. We have different perspectives on fun. But um, I think he hurt his shoulder a little bit. So um, I can understand why um, he's not finding it any fun. But he tells me he's okay. I hope he's okay. We're going to assess the damage once we're done with this. So far, we've been at it for an hour, a little over an hour, hour and seven minutes, and we're still here. So down and under. You can fit through here. This is where the arrow is pointing, oh, not, through oh, okay. not through here, oh, okay. up here. So I'm heading okay, up this way. All right, team. The fun continues. Number two pencil fell um actually he slipped um he has a shoulder injury and he just aggravated it um but he is okay so this is gonna slow us down a little but that's okay because we're taking our time and being safe um we're almost halfway through almost not quite but um now i'm a little concerned about him he says he's okay but he's or I'll make it. <laughs> he says he's okay, but he's making all kinds of questionable noises. That old, tells me otherwise. That's what old people do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, team. We got this. Let's keep going. All right, this is what it looks like here. Sorry, I'm not giving you any footage of me climbing, but I believe number two pencil has some in his channel, so. Right? Yes. Yeah, so if you wanna see me scrambling, um, check out his channel, The Herd Hiker, and you'll be able to see me, you know, climbing around. Usually I go over, but I'm not gonna do that this time. This way. Nope. This way. It is. Oh my god, Pat, come here. Ugh. 
okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just kind of hard to navigate. Can I fit through there? Um, uh, maybe. That's really the worst answer. I would prefer just a solid yes or no. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll hold on. I don't want to be Winnie the Pooh. I'll let you know in a second. Okay. After I'm done. Because it's kind of hard trying to balance. Oh, God. There's a, okay. It's a chipmunk. Don't worry. It's just a chipmunk. Okay. <laughs> there's a chipmunk coming up behind you, but don't worry about it. It's just a chipmunk. Okay. okay. <laughs> Why should I worry about he's it? He's scared to cry because he's come out of nowhere. He's scared me. Is it trying to eat my pack? If he's... <gasps> Maybe he... Chipmunk, don't try to eat my food. Is he trying to get your food from you? Like, I wow. don't know. Team, we did it. Look. <gasps> We're back on trail. I'm worried you're jinxing it. I'm not sure. Good job. I feel like there could be more. Don't, don't say I'm that. I'm just saying. No. I don't think the video game's over yet. <sighs> See, see what I have to deal with everyday people. See, what, same. see, what see? I have to deal with. See, team. <laughs> All right, let's see where this takes us. All right, team. We're here by the brook getting some water. Um, we are finally done with my Husich Notch. Um, our official time was two hours and 15 minutes. And now we are night hiking yet again, but that's okay. Um, cause we are just gonna stealth camp or just make it to the official campsite that apparently has some room for tents, um, here in about 0.2 miles. So if we find a stealth site before that, we'll stay. If not, we're just gonna keep going. All right, team. I think I'm just gonna close this out cause it's getting late and I'm sure as soon as we get to the campsite, we're just going to set up, eat, and go to bed because we have a very difficult day tomorrow yet again. Um, we have a huge climb in the morning. So, yep. All right, team. I'll talk to you all a little bit more tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great evening, and I will see you in the morning.